we come over here to the sky, the switch, there's a black cable that runs to a network switch all the way about 25 feet away in the ceiling and this runs to a home office. The problem is that network switch isn't battery backed up, doesn't have UPS. So what we're going to do, we're going to install the PoE and TP-Link PoE injector over here and this is going to power the switch 25 feet away and it's going to be powered over the UPS that's sitting next to me. So now when the power flickers, that switch won't drop and we'll have continuous um, network connection. So let's get to it and install this guy. Okay, so we've got our PoE injector here. We're gonna give it power off the EPS. It's gonna plug in. We're gonna find our network cable that goes to the ceiling, which is the category six cable. Black, that's right. There. This cable. Gonna go into the power plus data out. Which I'm gonna unplug it because I haven't done the other end yet. We're gonna take our patch cable right here and we're gonna plug it in right here. And then we're gonna take the other end of this. So I kind of move that around because I don't want to get even more of a mess yet. I'm gonna plug it right back into our switch. So, this is extremely messy. Let's plug in. And now we're gonna go to the other side. We're gonna plug in the um, the splitter. And then we'll have power all the time. I have the ceiling apart. And here's the switch that's in the ceiling. It's a top link TK-1005G. It's a gigabit switch. And it has 12 volt DC power currently going into it from this wire over here runs up into the ceiling and then to an outlet. Um, whoops, sorry about that. You can see it goes in, it's negative on the outside, positive on the inside, 12 volt. Then I have the TP-Link power splitter right here, not currently plugged into anything. And we have the cable here that's coming from the other side of the basement. So let's plug it in, see what happens. So now it's plugged in. You can see we've got a green power light on. I've also set the voltage switch right here to 12 volt. It will do 12 volts on the left, nine volts in the center and five volts on the right. I've also verified the polarity is the same, so negative is on the outside and positive is in the inside of this pin. There's a simple way to, well, sort of simple way to do this. I didn't have my multimeter on me this time, so what I ended up doing is I set the power to uh, 12 volts. I got an LED right here and a resistor. Then all you have to do, I believe the I hooked it up just with my fingers, I didn't even solder or anything. I placed the LED inside like this. Oh, ground one side. And there you go, you can see it lights up. And then I did the same thing on the switch. And if it lights up going in the same direction, you know, you know the polarity is the same. And if it doesn't light up, then you know it's reversed because LEDs are directional. Light emitting diode. And diodes only allow electricity to pass in one direction. So, we know they're the same, we know they're compatible. Check the switch, see it's on, on its current power source. We're gonna unplug it. Switch is off. Now, I'm gonna try my best Sorry, you can't see me hooking this up. But the TP-Link power splitter is now hooked up. And lo and behold, it works. The power is on. And now all we have to do is hook the patch cable 
back into the switch and we'll have network upstairs and it is powered completely off of the UPS.